Remember the good old days when I used to look forward to breakfast with things like eggs, sausages, bacon, omelettes. Now, now it's just oatmeal. About four months ago, I decided to switch to a healthy breakfast. It was part of my incredible plan to gradually lose weight throughout the year. So my breakfast routine has been comprised of oatmeal, black coffee, and a banana. Only problem is, I still haven't lost any weight. This breakfast routine has failed to bear any fruit. Uh, well, apart from the banana. In hindsight, it might be because after preparing the healthy, nutritious oatmeal, I have to drench it in at least one litre of maple syrup to make it edible. Yeah, Canadian culture. The only reason I decided to do a vlog today of all days is because I suspect today could be a slightly above average day. Uh, I'll get onto it in a minute why that might be. Suffice to say, it might involve going to Tokyo and being on Japanese TV. Might be, because I do, not even I know, to be honest. But the reason I haven't done a day in my life vlog until now is, you know, what, what day should you do a day in your life vlog? You never know what life might throw at you in any, in any given day. For example, yesterday when I woke up, I never thought by the end of the day I would have bought a brand new oven glove, uh, especially as one as flimsy and as tacky as this. But its true value lies here on the back of the oven glove with this powerful philosophical statement which resonated with me on an emotional level. I'll read it out. It says, This is me. To be yourself in a world that is constantly trying to make you something else is the greatest accomplishment. And I read that and I thought, yes, that is me. That is how I define accomplishment. Only thing that compromises that bold statement here is the question underneath. And it's a question that reads, What your favourite colour? What your favourite colour? Uh, I don't know who thought that was a, a necessary addition to the glove. Seems like a pretty poor follow-up question to a, an otherwise reasonable statement, you know. Uh, it'd be a bit like Sarah Connor in The Terminator turning to her son John and saying, John, there is no fate but what we make for ourselves. Oh, and by the way... What your favourite animal? So outside of having a shower, eating breakfast and examining oven gloves, the only other habit I have, the only other morning routine I do, is uh, I write out one chapter from a Japanese textbook, in this case, the Intermediate Japanese Grammar Guide. I don't have as much time as I used to when it comes to learning Japanese. This is the one thing I pretty much do now every day. Like, I really enjoy studying Japanese, and even though my handwriting is atrocious, I really enjoy doing it. I know when I've done this, I've done one good thing today. You know, even if the rest of the day goes to shit, I've done something that I can be happy about. Oh my God. Now that, is what I call a Christmas tree. Yeah, look at those lights. Look at that. All ready to go for Christmas? All ready to go for December? So, about to pack the bags, go to Tokyo. While I'm doing it, I'll fill you in on why we're going in the first place. So every year in Japan, they have a big annual awards thing for the 30 key words of the year. 30 key words that have summarised the year's annual events. I think last year the key words were Shinzo Abe, the Prime Minister of Japan, maybe Donald Trump, and fake news, but there's 30 of them. And somebody who represents that key word will come on stage and get the award in front of loads of cameras and stuff. And it's a really big kind of event throughout Japan on the news. And this year, one of the top 10 key words is J alert. Now J alert is the system which notifies you in an emergency, for example, like an earthquake or a tsunami. Your phone will ring and go off and vibrate to kind of notify you about the emergency. And J alert also happens when there's a North Korean missile. You probably know where this is going. They apparently, they saw my video where I got woken up by the North Korean missile, by J alert, right? They saw that and thought I would be a good representative for the word jailer. So I've got to go to Tokyo and accept this kind of award for the keyword uh, in front of loads of cameras and stuff. And it's really weird and I don't know much about it other than that, but I'm a little bit nervous. I don't really know what to expect. It might be good, it might not be good, but 
we're going to go and find out. Fortunately, I've got help on the way. Uh, Ryotaro, my friend Ryotaro, is going to be joining me down there to kind of help me out. I told a good friend of mine about this award yesterday, and he said to me that it sounded like a sick award, mate. Yeah, it's sick. And I thought, why do people use the word sick in that context? It really annoys me. When did that become a popular word? If somebody says to me, yeah, that was sick, mate, I literally just picture a puddle of sick in my mind. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to, but it's just there, puddle, puddle of sick. Yeah, it's horrible, absolutely horrible. So we've got to ride the Shinkansen bullet train to Tokyo today, but I'm feeling a little bit anxious. There was an event last week that shook Japan to its core, a train. Train left the station 20 seconds early. It was supposed to leave the station at 9.44 and 40 seconds, but it left at 9.44 and 20 seconds. What happened next was a global media storm. And even though the train company apologised, the damage, the damage was done. So I'm keen to get there 20 seconds early today, especially as we've got to do at least one swanky time lapse of Sendai before we go. So let's get a move on. Just did a time lapse, it uh, came out pretty well. I would, I would go so far to say it was sick. But as I came out of the building while I was doing it, I noticed there was loads of people standing around. I peeked at someone's phone and they're all playing Pokemon Go. I thought that died out ages ago. I didn't realize that was still a thing. I don't know, I never got into it. I thought it was a waste of time. Time better spent doing time lapses. And actually, there's people here. And they're playing Pokemon Go as well. Didn't even notice. Right then, onwards to Tokyo. So we're on the train, didn't leave 20 seconds early this time. Got a little bento to see me through the trip. I think it's uh, chicken or pork or something. Should be there in 90 minutes, so I'm going to get some work done and have some lunch. Looks all right, it's not going to win any prizes for looking nice though, but uh, yeah, let's tuck in. Second coffee of the day, much needed, especially as we're going to be passing through Tokyo Station soon, the uh, eighth busiest station in the world. I hate it. Whenever I go there, I feel so overwhelmed. And to go from like Sendai, which is in the countryside, which is, you know, there's not that many people here, to go from there to all of a sudden be flooded with hundreds and thousands of people standing around, it's just kind of really intense transition. Um, so yeah, you need to be prepared. That's where coffee comes in. go to the Imperial Hotel and I don't know where that is. Whilst Tokyo Station might be pretty chaotic, the area around it is actually really nice. It's very relaxed, chilled out. In many ways it feels very different from the rest of Tokyo. The streets are really kind of huge. There's trees, unbelievably, and lots of coffee shops. It's just a nice place to just chill out and relax. If you're, if you're feeling a bit overwhelmed in Tokyo, this is the area, Tokyo Station area. It's got an angry phone call from Ryotaro. I'm in the lobby by the Christmas tree, where are you? Uh, we're here at the Imperial Hotel though, it looks rather grand, fucking huge. All right, let's go and find Mr. Grumpy. Hey, you all right? What are doing? Vlogging. Vlogging? <laughs> so I'll be a vlogger today. Yeah, all right. Say something, something profound, about. quick. Profound? Yeah, quick. Uh, today's the day. Today's the day. All right, for you us. got a haircut? Yeah, yeah, I got a haircut. All right, let's go. Have you been here before? Yes, I have. Many times? Yeah, I mean, of course you have. Luxurious, decadent man. So we're in the room. Realtor is going to come and meet us down here in a minute. Uh, coffee's on the way. It's the most important thing whenever you get into a hotel room. Between you and me, I don't think I'd stay here. It seems a bit expensive for what it is. Uh, it's more about the reputation, right, than uh, actually being something that's good. Still, we'll find out. All oh, the coffee's ready. Hey, blogger. What did you just say? <laughs> hey, blogger. He said, hey, brother. 
from my room, actually, I can look over the uh, Imperial Palace. You bastard. A cup of coffee. Here's your coffee, your lordship. Thank you. All right, then, give us the rundown on uh, what's happening. Okay. So this, this award is like a TV show that they have every year. From, like, tonight and in every single news that you is, is get, going to get broadcasted um, in Japan, we'll, we'll cover on that. Bloody hell. Amazing. It's a bit scary, isn't it? It is, it is. It's Will I be scary. on the front cover of Time magazine? I'm not sure about that. I've been let down by the media time and time again. Mm. Like two months ago, I was told I'd be on ITV News, and I was for like 10 seconds. Then there was the BBC Live interview where my iPhone died, and it's just like, yeah, there never seems to be close but no cigar. Yeah, see, that, so you, you, don't, you, you, you shouldn't put like, you know, too much expectation on that. Mm. Um, but uh, the fact is that I'll they've chosen 30 words. And we are chosen um, as within those first ten. First ten. First ten. First ten. First ten. Do we know where? Don't know. Could be number one. I don't nah. Think. nah, nah, nah. Jailer. Nah. Can't be number one. Nah. Although it could get political with the whole North Korean thing. Maybe they want to be like, oh, war with North Korea, jailer. Whoa. Shame we're not first though. People say it's taking part that counts. It's not. It's coming first. Mm. Everyone knows that. Yeah. Taking part. <laughs> oh, no rubbish. If you don't win, you're nothing. Write that down. Put it on your wall. That's the quote of the day. So I go uh, up on stage, do I have to say anything? I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, oh, they will. God. What do I say? We're talking about... We're talking about... Mr. Johnson, no missile. Honestly, I'm sorry. They'll be like, they'll be like, what? Oh. <laughs> in that voice. Just scare oh, everyone in the room. Good. I've got the Fox Sucker t-shirt. Can I wear that on stage? I don't know. I don't know. I, don't, I, don't I might get that. something. That, that could be good. So that could be like... Three oh, million ma dollar imagine, publicity. Ima imagine... <laughs> <laughs> Rotter, we have a situation. Look at my t-shirt. Look how crinkled it is. Wrinkled, wrinkled, crinkled. Can't go on a TV show with like a few million people watching it with a t-shirt that looks like that. Yeah, that's a YouTuber. That's, a way, <laughs> that's the life of a YouTuber. That's the life of just... It just tells what it is and it tells the, the reality, the how you live. But I'm better than this. Yeah, but I don't know that, but... Oh. I'll show him. Huh. Oh, you can have the ironing board, please. I certainly started to send us a whip there. Thank you very much. Aha, so I've got the ironing board. Uh, the only problem is I've only ironed clothes like once in my life and it didn't go well. I tend to just get them out of the washing machine and then hang them up in a nice way and they don't get creased anyway. But uh, how does this, what do we do? Shit, genuinely no idea how this works. I don't, don't really know. Oh, the light. No. Nope. I like to think I'm pretty good at technology. Computers, tablets, phones, whatever. Give me an iron though, and it's game over. I haven't a clue how to use this. Fuck, look, there's a light. But then, do I, what happens then? And how do you put that in there? It doesn't look right. See, this is the reason I don't do day in my life vlogs, because stupid shit like this happens every day. I had to give a talk last week to uh, some students at a high school about careers and the life of a YouTuber. And lots of people ask me what it's like, would I encourage other people to do it? And I don't know if I would really. Uh, when, I, when I started doing YouTube stuff, I didn't anticipate all this, you know. I, you just, I started off in an apartment, just holding a camera, talking to myself. In fact, pretty much like I'm doing now, but in a hotel room. And for me, the real kick I get out of doing YouTube isn't the presenting bit. I'm not that good at that and I don't really, enjoy it as much as you'd probably think. I like the writing, I like the editing, I like the overall creation aspect of being a vlogger and filmmaking. It's just I never had anyone who could present the videos for me so I could kind of hide around the back of the camera. So sometimes I find it more difficult than you'd think to be enthusiastic about it all. But generally, you know, I, I'm very grateful, very lucky for the opportunities that come about through doing this. And uh, yeah, I think tonight is gonna be quite fun and quite interesting. At the very least, it's nice to uh, be in Tokyo at the Imperial Hotel, learning how to iron things. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I failed. I completely failed. Um, I'm gonna have to just cover myself with the black jumper and wing it. An idiot. <laughs> We're going to go up on stage in about half an hour. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> You're not? You look nervous. Way more nervous than usual. <laughs> oh, God. We'll have to wing it. I haven't had enough coffee for this either. Shit. Pretty nervous. What happens if you fall over on stage in front of all the cameras? Yeah, you do that. You're going to be the first to go. I'm not going to do it. I'll try and trip you up. Yeah. You can sing all. 有効語トップ 10 
J アラート受賞者は J アラートのリアルなリポート動画を海外に発信し話題となった在日イギリス人クリス・ブロードさんですクリスさんどうぞえー、223万回を超える再生回数ということですね、はい、クリスさんの動画です、えー、世界に発信したことによっていろんな反響があったと思います、はい yeah, it was... Pretty scary having that kind of attention. For example, I was on the television in the UK and many websites, and they treated me like a specialist on North Korea, even though I was just a YouTuber who got woken up. <laughs> My mum thought, very crazy, very crazy experience. <laughs> crazy. どうぞお席にお付きくださいクリス・ブロードさんそして桜井亮太郎さんでございましたありがとうございました J アラートでしたた This little award, which is kind of cool and funky. And、uh, yeah, pretty, pretty scary, but not too bad, not too bad. And、uh, don't really know what to think. While we were having our photos taken, there was a huge banquet, a huge sprawling banquet, the likes of which I'd never seen. I was so excited <laughs> to get stuck into it. By the time we got there, all gone, all, gone. all of it. No meat, no fucking... fish, no, not even the salads. Like, yeah, it was, it was just gone. So, after all that, doing whatever that was, there's no food. So, we're now、also. going out into the streets of Tokyo to try and find something to eat. Whoa! Through the fires, a champion will rise. Oh, I'll wait. I genuinely can't see you through this steep. How many times do you eat out a week, do you reckon? Five times a week. How many times do you?、Uh, three or four? Not by choice. Usually because I'm on the go somewhere, right? So. My food. My dinners aren't quite as luxurious as this, usually. Still, it's a special occasion, right? Ryotaro got a haircut. Hey! So, finally got a shot of Ryotaro. And、uh, I've got the award here. I thought we'd have a closer look at what's in the box. What's in the box? Always wanted to do that. All right,、uh, so this is the award that I got on stage, and it says Gendai Ogo no Kiso Chishiki, which means a general basic terminology of modern language. I think that's what it means.、Uh, the relevance, of course, is that the whole thing was about keywords, like modern day keywords. And in my case, the keyword was J Alert. J Alert, there it is. And、uh, there's a little clock. Not sure what the relevance of the clock is, but the fact that it's 10 to 10 is an indication of why I look so tired and crap at the moment. The only thing that worries me is、uh, when I was on stage, I had this very dry mouth, and I was kind of doing this weird thing where I was kind of going, meh, 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 meh. And I really hope they didn't pick that up. They definitely would have done, but let's have a look. Let's inspect the damage. <laughs> Chris Brodo san des. Chris san doza. To the Mission Impossible soundtrack. Oh my god. All right. In hindsight, I probably could have done it in Japanese and I quite wanted to, but we needed an excuse to get Ryotaro on stage, and so he came on as my translator. And、uh, yeah, but fuck the mouth thing. What's all that about? So the fun is officially over, and I'm about to do some editing for an hour before I go to bed. But first, let's raid the fridge and see what complimentary food and drinks there are. Oh, I don't normally do this、uh, as it's quite expensive, but seeing as I didn't have to pay for the hotel, I feel like I can let myself off this once. Apple juice, yeah, and peach juice, yeah, and chocolate, job done, yes. Merlot, Merlot, could be a good shout. No, no alcohol tonight. I've already had my fun for one day. So it's 11 past midnight and、uh, I'm finally tucked in bed. Don't know why I ate those chocolates. That was a stupid idea, especially before bed. Don't do that. I don't think much will come from the、uh, award 
thing today. But you know what? I had a good day. It was quite fun. It was always it's always nice to have an excuse to come to Tokyo. And uh, I think it's led to a slight surge in views to the North Korean missile video. Here's a comment from Aaron Chung who says, "Don't say bad words like fuck. You lose subs that way." Yeah, you're probably right, Aaron. You're probably right, mate. But you know what? I don't give a fuck anymore. The thing is, after getting a few hundred thousand subscribers, I've started to become really self-conscious about the way I act on video because you think, well, lots of important people could be watching this. You, you could be an important person. And uh, so, you know, you, you do become self-conscious, but I'm trying to learn to let go of that feeling and not, not give a shit anymore. Maybe in a way, that's why I did this Day in the Life video, to, uh, kind of go behind the scenes and show what I'm like when I'm not really thinking things through, when I'm literally just filming myself doing something on an average day, or slightly above average day. But for now guys, as always guys, many thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. That fucking iron is looking at me. I can feel it smirking, mocking me. It is pretty shocking that I don't know how to iron after all these years. Probably gonna have to learn somehow, one day. Someone will uh, teach me, no doubt, the way of the ironing. <laughs>